Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so have you ever done anything like this before where you've set a brief and you've gone to a new country organization and sort of not like not like this okay um i'll write a brief for anything that i don't really want to photograph and take seriously um but never with the sort of sensitivities involved with something like this mm -hmm. So when so in your professional life, how you know what? Tell me a bit about the you know the projects that you work on for that. Um, so up until when I went to India, it's all been it's all been wildlife. Okay. Um, I was working for a, a travel marketing management company, and uh, I would produce. Um, so the travel marketing management company marketed safari companies. Right. So we had about eight or nine safari camps that we would market so that involves making or producing um, marketing images video um, of the properties so the rooms all the activities um, and then obviously people go on safari to look at wildlife so most of it was all was all wildlife um, it's a pretty good gig yeah it was really, <laughs> really good gig. Blimey. <laughs> cool um, and you've traveled quite a lot mm. uh, mostly in africa okay Tell me a bit about your Africa travels. Uh, so I moved to Botswana in 2003, end of 2012. Uh, oh, before that, I was in South Africa for six months um, doing a safari guide's license. Following that, moved to Botswana, um, uh, getting as an expat, getting a, a safari guide's license there is, especially at the time, was quite tricky, um, which I can understand because. It's a it's a job that the country wants really for uh, national citizens, yeah. Um, which I completely understand. So um, uh, while I waited for that to kind of slowly um, go through, uh, I was managing camps, um, safari camps, um, and about three years in, did, did guiding. Ooh. Tell me a bit about. Because I know you're not a portrait photographer, mm. so tell us a bit about sort of your pre-photography projects. Because I know obviously you live in Botswana and you've done a lot of wildlife mm. photography. So how did you find that transition going from Africa and beautiful animals to quite dark themes in in India with 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 people? Uh, it was quite quite easy. Um, there's so much to photograph in India. Just everything you look at, you want to take a photograph of it. Um, uh, I've always been interested in people. It's not been my focus. Uh, but in my spare time in Botswana, when I wasn't photographing wildlife and landscapes, um, I would photograph um, indigenous bushmen, um, who I really enjoyed photographing. So the transition, it, there wasn't really a huge transition for me. Mm. Um, and again... India, everything is, you don't really have to look for, you don't have to dig really to find the, the subject matter. And with the help of Narendra, he, you know, he took us straight, straight to where the action was. Mm. Um, so it was, uh, it, it felt almost effortless. Mm. Um, 